In this exercise, we are going to simulate uh, operation of overcurrent relay uh, using uh, Power Factory software. We have a typical example from textbook where we have uh, overcurrent IDMT relay that is expected to trip at 1.35 seconds, uh, 5000 amps fault current. Uh, what we do here, we just calculate theoretically in the beginning uh, the plug setting and uh, we use the graph provided by IEC to really manually calculate the tripping time and then uh, we model the relay and simulate its operation using power factory software. You can see the plug setting multiplier uh, is expected to be uh, around 0.5 using the theoretical calculations and the graph. We'll, we will see this by simulating the operation of the relay using uh, Power Factory. Let's now move to Power Factory and model the network. Hello, this uh, video is about. Uh, simulation of our current relay. We start a project, uh, give it a name. We need, uh, as a beginning, to create a network that will uh, give us a fault current of 5000 amps. So we simulate a network with the transmission line. Uh, then we connect uh, symbol load then we energize uh, the network by connecting a grid We just define the transmission line, so it is a new equipment, leave the resistance as zero, and we set it up as an override line. We leave the length of the line as one kilometer, so to give us uh, zero impedance, we just go to we adjust the substation rating, put it eleven kV. We need to simulate a volt current of five thousand amps as given in the question. And then we apply a short circuit at the end of transmission line uh, to make sure we get 5000 amps. Okay, so this uh, network with this configuration is giving us 5000 amps volt current. Now we need to define the relay. One way of doing it is like this. We insert uh, a relay model. Uh, 
and just give it a name over current relay. Uh, now what we need to do, we need to go to main library uh, because we would like to really play with, uh, with the relay and the setting. Uh, so we copy an overcurrent relay, which is a river 120. And then we copy it to our project library. We need also to copy CT. So one arm secondary CT is already defined in the library. We need to copy it to our project library so that we can modify it. Close the data manager and edit the relay now. Right click, double click on the name of the relay and then we define the relay from uh, our project. We create a CT for it. Basically we connect it to the CT in our uh, project library. As you can see the primary tabbings of CT doesn't have 400 amps so we need to edit uh, the CT tabbing by inserting uh, new tabs of 400 tabs on the primary. We select CT ratio of 400 amps to 1. Uh, we go to the relay and we disable the functions that are not required. Now we can create time over current uh, characteristic. We can always edit the relay uh, from the characteristic. You can see now we select the proper characteristic for the relay. We need also to make sure we get 400 amps on the primary. We keep on adjusting the time setting multiplier. Uh, so that we simulate. This is uh, auto adjustment of the graph. Let's apply now uh, two phase to ground fault on the transmission line and uh, see at what time the relay will trip. Now we are expecting the relay to trip at. Uh, about 1.35 uh, seconds. You can see clearly it is tripping faster. Double click on the relay and adjust time multiplier setting. Now let's run short circuit again. Perfect. It is tripping at 1.3 one five seconds. We can add a label to our uh, curve. This is the default label we can add. We can also change the color if we want. Uh, this is very helpful if we have multiple uh, relays that we are coordinating.